hydraulic brakes. In this module, you will learn about hydraulic brakes. When you want to slow down or stop your car, all you need to do is depress the brake pedal. A simple way, isn't it? However, there is more to this simple way than meets the eye. Think how just a push on the pedal slows down or stops a car. When you depress the brake pedal, the force from your feet is transmitted to what are called brakes, which engage to slow down or stop a car. Now before you learn in detail how brakes operate, you should know that most cars have a hydraulic braking system or you can say they have hydraulic brakes. Let us now delve into the study of hydraulic brakes. A hydraulic brake is a system of braking mechanism that uses a hydraulic fluid called brake fluid to apply pressure on the brake shoes. It works on the principle of Pascal's law which states that the pressure exerted at a particular point in a fluid is transmitted equally in all directions throughout the fluid. This means that a small force applied on a small cross-sectional area exerts a large force on a large cross-sectional area. Another interesting fact is that Pascal's law forms the working principle of all hydraulic machines. The hydraulic brake system consists of a pipeline that contains the brake fluid. One end of the pipe is connected to a master cylinder with a small area of cross-section. The master cylinder is fitted with a piston which in turn is attached to the brake pedal. The other end of the pipe is connected to the wheel cylinders with a greater area of cross-section. The wheel cylinder has two pistons that are connected to the brake shoes. The brake shoes are connected to each other with a spring. You will now find out what happens when the brake pedal is depressed. When the brake pedal is depressed, a pressure is exerted on the fluid in the master cylinder. This makes the fluid move from the master cylinder to the wheel cylinder. The pressure according to Pascal's law is transmitted equally through the fluid from the master cylinder to the pistons of the wheel cylinder. This pressure pushes out the pistons of the wheel cylinder and presses the brake shoes against the rim of the wheel. An equal pressure is exerted on the other wheels of the car connected to the pipeline in accordance with Pascal's law. This slows down the car. So, a small force applied on the brake pedal translates into a large force on the rim of the car's wheel and it is this large force that slows down or stops the car. When the pedal is released, the fluid moves back from the wheel cylinder to the master cylinder 
and the spring pulls the brake shoes to their original position which in turn makes the pistons come back to the original position. When you take your foot off the brake pedal, the brakes are released. So you now know how just a push on the brake pedal slows down or stops a car. In this module you have learned, in hydraulic brakes, the hydraulic fluid is used to operate the brake. It is an application of Pascal's law. Hydraulic brakes consist of a pipeline containing liquid, a master cylinder fitted with a piston, wheel cylinder with two pistons, brake shoes and a spring. On applying brakes, a small force is applied on the foot pedal which produces a large force on the rim of the wheel. This force is responsible for retarding the motion.